Hello everyone and welcome to the official SWGT YouTube channel. My name is Ruza. Today we're going to take a look at SWGT update 5.8.16 and 5.9.0, which includes some new guild member performance analytics, live siege map updates, and more. The first update line today takes us over to the recent runes feature. You can now see that all of the efficiencies are now, are now highlighted in the same colors as you would see in the account summary feature. So a nice little quality of life update there. Uh, some other quality of life updates on the recent rune page here, as well as on the recent artifacts page. I have added a button for refreshing so that way you can just refresh the page as you're going through and farming. Um, obviously, you can use your browser refresh button, but sometimes it's nice to have a dedicated button as well. Switching modes over to the guild side, uh, if we go to Siege and we go to Battles, uh, there have been quite a bit of updates on the Siege maps. So the first and foremost, uh, Quatzo was so nice to get me the in-game version of the maps. So now everything is perfectly matching uh, before I had actually made my own version uh, with the changes that, that they made for the crossover. So this is actually the same version as what's in there today. Uh, but I have gone through and updated and added in the markers with the, with the numbers from in-game. Um, obviously, uh, your notes are obviously there as well and um, all the colorization is uh, of course there on the updates and then if we go back to siege we go to battles and we go into a tournament battle uh, you'll see that the map button is now here too and i do support the siege map version now as well so big thank you to of course quatso for all of, of the maps and for getting all of these out of the game for me i definitely appreciate it um it's been a lot of work um it's i know it's been a few weeks now since the last update but all you know all this stuff has to get vetted and validated um you know, come to us with their base number mapping is not uniform. It's kind of all over the place. Um, on the other Siege version, it's it's pretty simplistic. Uh, if we go over to one of my um, other Siege battles, the numbering is actually quite straightforward. It's actually, uh, so this is actually base one, this is base two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. And then based on positionals, right, these can be the same bases. So if, if they're actually base blue on their map version, so on and so forth. Um, but on the tournament version, it's very complicated. Uh, so this is actually base one, this is base two, so on and so forth. But this is base five, this is base nine, this is base 11, and this is base 13. It, it's just, it's the weirdest thing. So uh, in order to get the tournament maps working, I had to actually be in tournament and actually we had to actually take over the entire map in order to, to actually find out and actually mainly map all these. So it's been a lot of work. Um, hope you guys really appreciate it. Um, I know not a lot of guilds really are in tournament uh, and really care about live maps, but so hopefully it's a nice feature for those guilds too. Uh, also on the guild side, while we're here, if we go to members, and we go to myself, for instance. Um, if we go to the menu up here, you'll see that I have now added Labyrinth and Monster Subjugation. Uh, so I have gone through and added in metrics about when they attack and who they, and who are they attacking and what are their scores. Uh, on the Labyrinth side, I did go through and add same thing. Uh, so this one actually has a filter so you can see longer spans of time, uh, but these are of when I'm actually attacking in lab, and you'll see all of the all of, of the bases and the base types and, and the results and so on and so forth. So. Uh, just a nice feature helping to round out those corners. Uh, but you'll also notice that there's a new menu option called Performance Summary. So this is a feature that somebody had asked for, um, being able to metric all of their guild members on a, in a uniform way. So similar to how we have the account analytics screen for your own account, this is a guild performance metrics for all of your guild members. Uh, so this has been a lot of work. I've gotten a lot of feedback from people on Discord. So thank you very much for all of the feedback. I am sure you guys will think of other and new metrics that you'll want to see. Uh, but for right now, I know my goal is, you know, looking at the last 90 days, what is this player's performance in the guild uh, versus everybody else in the guild? So you can see that my win rate is higher. My overall defense rate is higher. I, I have missed more attacks, of course. Uh, which is obviously a positive thing. I know it's, it's a it's a weird concept to have a negative number being down, but obviously you don't want people to have any sort of, of missed attacks, of course. Um, and then same thing on the on the World Guild Battle side. Um, same thing on Labyrinth. You know, what are they hitting? Are they hitting only hell, or are they hitting you know normal at, you know at average and easy, so on and so forth? How many hits are they doing per uh, per actual Labyrinth battle? Um, so those are some nice metrics there. And then Monster Subjugation is such a weird feature but i came up with just these basic metrics um so the average the average uh score for the water the average score for fire wind and the boss and then the battle counts that they have been um a part of so just some nice quality of, of life updates some performance updates um hopefully you guys really enjoy the new the guild member performance summary um, it was quite a bit of work today in order to get it all working 
one last feature before we wrap up here for today under setup under site setup if we come down to the guild member section you'll see that there is a default members guild view um, so you can actually choose um, any of the options um, i have gone through and renamed the overview to setup because technically the guild member page um, if we go back there uh, i'll go back there in a second um, but anyways you can choose a default view so when you watch it off of the off of the menu here it'll automatically launch into that view um, i am going to change this this probably to like a, a change view button and it'll bring up a modal and you can pick out of it i'm not really a, a huge fan of the drop downs but anyways um the overview has been renamed as setup now uh, because basically this is the guild member setup right this is their name this is the guild that they're in include exclude from averages here is their overall discord id and stuff like that but so far so good um, i'm really happy with all the updates here today um, i would love some feedback on the new uh, guild member performance summary um, i think we can add some more some more metrics here and 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 make it into more of a scorecard, so to speak, uh, so that it makes a lot of sense for good members that are, you know, you might have 30 members and you're trying to and you're trying to prune up your your overall roster and try and make your guild a little bit more competitive. So this is a nice way to be able to compare player by player, all on all sort of on on a single screen. Um, it's all on one screen because obviously you don't want to have to keep on going back and forth and back and forth with all the, with all of these different um, screens and menu options. Plus, you know, a lot of the times uh, uh, there are guilds that, that, you know, they would want to share their scorecards in, in a screenshot format for like Discord or, or something like that. And that's it for today. I just wanted to say a thank you to all the Patreon members who subscribe to SWGT and to all the people that constantly give feedback about the platform. Uh, you know, it, it's only through your support and efforts that SWGT is what it is today. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. We all make SWGT better together. And with that, don't forget to smash those like buttons and I'll see all of you on the battlefield.